So your CEO comes to you and says, great news, Mr. Marketing Manager. We just bought another company and we're going to expand our Marketo instance to be able to send all of the emails from this new company using Marketo. Can you go ahead and add our domain name to your existing Marketo instance to send out all of our email and uh, our digital marketing now? Uh, my name is Michael Tucker, and I'm a Marketo champion and uh, founder of the Conversion Store. And we run into uh, clients and users of Marketo who run into this issue all the time. How do you deal with it? You want to still be able to send emails from your uh, individual domain name that you use right now for your company, but now you have a whole other group of, um, of marketing collateral that you want to be able to send using that group's domain name and you don't have the budget to buy a second Marketo instance. Well, let's jump into Marketo for a minute and we'll show you how we take care of this uh, on Marketo emails. Okay, so we're in our instance and we're looking at an email from the parking lot party, which is a fictitious example that we have used in previous Marketo Minutes episodes all around an experiential marketing event that happens at a Chevy Buick GMC dealership outside of Atlanta. And so let's take a look at this email in the editor and we'll talk a little bit about what you're trying to do when you're trying to set up a Marketo instance to be able to send in multiple domain names. And so really what we're trying to look at is we want to be able to send a Marketo email from michael at conversionstore.com but in, in this instance we have two different domain names that are set up here. So we have uh, conversionstore.com and we have marketotesting.com which are both set up for this specific instance. And now keep in mind that I can send an email from Marketo using any domain name I want. I could put in michael at marketo.com if I wanted to but and press send and Marketo would send it but there's a real problem with that and you really shouldn't do that and the big reason why is that you want to only send from domain names that have been properly configured to work in a Marketo instance because that way they're signed to be able to help with your deliverability. It's one thing to be able to send an email, but you actually want people to be able to receive those emails and open those emails and not have not have those emails be flagged as spam and worse yet, not have your Marketo instance be flagged as spam. So you'll know I do not own Michael at Marketo.com and when I go to use that email address, one thing you can do is look on the this key that is on the right hand side of the from address and if you hover over it you'll say domain is not using custom DKM signature which is a way to verify email addresses that you go through when you set up your domain name but if I change this back and I say Michael at conversion store dot com oops I have two dot coms here suddenly the, the key turns green and it says that it is using a custom DKM signature Likewise, if I say marketotesting.com, I also have a green key here. So I know that those are email addresses that I can use in my Marketo instance and that they have been signed by Marketo, by this Marketo instance to be used when you're sending an email, again, from this Marketo instance. And how do you know if your Marketo instance is set up to be able to use this domain name versus another domain name? Well, that's in the admin panel of the instance. So we're going to flip over to that in a moment. Um, but I just want to uh, just show you exactly what we're trying to do here. Um, the last thing I want to show you while we're on this screen is this branded domain. Those of you whose Marketo instance is not set up for multiple domain names won't see this dropdown. And what this dropdown does is this chooses the subdomain, which is the name before your domain name, uh, that, uh, that, that is used in all of the links in this email. So save your ticket is a CTA button that has a link. Join us is a CTA button that has a link. And what happens when you send a Marketo email out is that Marketo replaces all of the links in that email with these branded domains. And the reason why that is is because you are not clicking directly to the page that Join Us is going to. You're clicking to the Marketo instance itself, the track that you as the person who received this email is, um, is interested in clicking on this button. And so Marketo will, your, your click will take you back to Marketo to register. Okay, I am 
person A received the email uh, and then it, Marketo will forward you to the right URL address where join us is. But you want to always have your branded domain set up to the domain name that you're using that you're sending out to uh, because it helps when you're going for the person who's receiving that email so that um, your email doesn't get flagged as a potential phishing threat which is a whole nother topic in and of itself. But, but, but just remember, you know, you want to try and say, if I'm sending from marketotesting.com, I'm going to use the Marketo Testing branding domain. If I'm sending from conversionstore.com, I want to send the conversion store branding domain because when I'm receiving the email, it's going to say from Michael at conversionstore.com and I want all the links to also say conversionstore.com in the links uh, because it, it raises less suspicion for the people that are receiving those emails and, and the email security software that's checking all those emails as they come into play. So let's flip over to just a quick uh, diagram to explain exactly what's happening here to give you a little bit of context and then we'll show you what's happening in the admin panel. Okay so this is a diagram that we've done up to try and explain uh, how Marketo interacts with a domain name. And the first thing we want to do is look at the column that's in the center here that says DNS server. Okay, The DNS server is where your domain name sits. So in this case, let's say conversionstore.com is in this DNS server. And it's a lot like a card catalog. If you remember the old days, you know, back when I was a kid, um, that's how that's how you would go to look up uh, uh, the name and try and find the book that you were looking for. So you you have this one server that goes across the entire World Wide Web and basically says if you're looking for anything on conversionstore.com, go to this one DNS server and it will tell you all of the records, all these other pieces that you see here, uh, of what you're trying to look for. So if you're looking for a landing page. It will give you the actual address to go to the web server, in case, in, in which case it's usually your home page, but it can also be Marketo's landing page server. Uh, or likewise, if you're looking for Marketo, you can see that there are four different types of entries that it keeps uh, in your DNS server that you need to be able to run Marketo for email and also for landing pages. So three of these, one of these here, this email tracking subdomain name is what we were talking about uh, just, just before this uh, for all the links that you see in your email. And then these two entries, DKM and SPF, are two different settings that you set for email deliverability. So now let's flip to Marketo and we'll show you exactly how to do the setup on each of these and where to go ahead and get that taken care of. Okay, so in today's instance, we're really only talking about e setting up the DNS for emails. And so where do you do that? Well, you want to start out in your admin panel. You need to have access to your admin panel in order to be able to do this. And you want to go into the email section of that panel. And so here you'll see, we'll talk about this window in more detail later on, but this panel is, in, in another episode that is, uh, this panel has an area, if you scroll down, that has branding domains, and the second tab here has SPF and DKM. So you'll see here that I have two different branding domains that are set up. And you can add more domain names, or whatever, however many you need, um, and by just clicking the Add button, and typing in the subdomain name that you want. So in this case, we have go.marketotesting.com, and I'll say next, and I, you'll probably get an error here because that already exists. But let's say that I want to take this out, and we'll just delete this for a minute, and I'll just go ahead and set this up, okay? So I'll say go.marketotesting.com, and I'll say next, and now, I have already done the configuration of the DNS server and that's unique to my server settings because you need the uh, information about your corporate email uh, server as well in order to be able to set up some of these SPF and DKM settings. Um, and so it's something where you, you really want to have either your IT department, if you are not comfortable doing that, um, you want to have their help to be able to make sure that you're putting in the right entries into your DNS server. And in this section, I get to choose the default workspace. Now, 
Workspaces and partitions are a whole other subject. They're very complicated, and it, uh, it, it, it can't be covered in five minutes for sure. But just know that you can set up multiple domain names, and in each workspace, which is a different set of activity marketing activities, um, you can set up a default email address for each workspace um, so that when you build out an email, it's automatically being sent by that domain name, which is great, by the way, if you have multiple multiple lines of business or multiple brands and you've paid to have your own uh, workspace, um, then you know let us know. We can uh, help to talk you through uh, some of the setup around that. But in this case, my default uh, is already set to conversionstore.com. So I'm just going to press save here. And what this is going to do is set up a second domain name that I can use for my branding domain name here. The next piece I'm going to do is go over to my SPF and my DKIM settings. Now you can see I set up MarketoTesting.com already. If I want to add a different domain name, let's just say that I want to put in, let me see if I can put in Marketo.com. I probably can't, but let's see. Oh, I can. Okay. So what happens here is that I will get the DKIM values to add here. Um, and so they, this gets more technical, but basically you are putting in this text value to your domain name server, and you're putting in this identifier, this M1 dot underscore domain key um, for your to identify when you go to think of that graph we we're just looking at on your DNS server. You want to be able to look for that record, and that's going to ask to 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 anybody who receives the email is going to get uh, a copy of this public key. Uh, and they will verify that against the domain name to say, okay, for this record, this, this uh, marketo.com record, uh, do you have the matching, um, the matching key, basically, to, to be able to verify that this email works. And so that's what we're adding in here. The other column you'll see here is that we have an SPF configuration, and that's a different field that gets added to your DNS. That's just a text field that basically gives you information to say um, what is the mail server, what's the right mail server for your business, for that brand. Not your Marketo server, but, but the actual corporate mail server. And again, you're trying to provide this information so that when you send an email from Marketo, it can be verified as actually belonging to the right domain name. So I, I can't send to Marketo.com because I can't make additions to the Marketo.com DNS server. That's private and it's owned by Marketo. So I'm going to delete this piece. Um, and you can, you can add a lot of these. We, we've had clients that have had hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of, of domain names hooked into a Marketo instance. And so really what you want to do here is just go in and click uh, check DNS once you have made all of the necessary settings to that domain name, and you'll get a verified. Now, if you have any problems with the way that you have written up your domain name settings, and let's say you didn't copy the address correctly for DKM. Let's say you had a character or something like that out of place here. Um, Marketo has this function to be able to check the DNS to check that both your, your DKM entry and your SPF entry are correct because if they're not correct, then it's not going to sign those emails and make sure that they get through the right recipients. So we always want to check your DNS. And in this case, you'll see that my SPF record is incorrect. And so I can flip over, in, in this case, this domain name is owned on a GoDaddy account that we have. That's our registrar. So I don't want to complicate this further. If you want more information about your registrar and kind of how to set up that, um, we do have uh, some articles that are on our website and on our company LinkedIn page, uh, conversionstore.com. Um, that uh, that that will guide you through a little bit more details around that, or you can just fill out a form uh, at the bottom of the page that you're viewing this uh, this message on, or, or this this video on, and um, and we'll get some information over to you about how to do that. Um, so so this final piece, once you verify this, you'll be able to actually go ahead and send out with that email address. And so once I have finished uh, verifying this last uh, SPF record, and I can go back into my email editor, and now I'll have uh, the two different options that I've set up in my branding domain, plus I will have the ability to send from 
either conversionstore.com or marketotesting.com. So I'm going to change this. This was originally con Michael at conversionstore.com to Michael at marketotesting.com. And I'm going to change the branding domain links. And now when I go ahead and I send out this email, um, I will have consistent domain names for the from address. It'll be signed, so it'll be ready for SPF and DKM. I'll change this reply to address to say marketotesting.com, and I will have the links that will also have marketotesting.com, and that's how you send out an email with a second domain name.